Thanks for clicking on my video. We're going to make a mono print real quick. It's going to be the quickest video I've done in a long time. Uh, stick around. I'm going to make two different kinds. Well, not really two different kinds, but two different variations on one mono print. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'm doing art videos like all the time. Uh, in fact, this is the second video I've put out today, although they weren't necessarily both art videos. Uh, I'm recycling some paper here. I did some uh, figure drawing on some drawing paper, and uh, but it was just kind of scrap. I mean, I didn't like use it for anything, so I cut it to the shape of this piece of glass. I'm now taping off the edges of this piece of glass because um, I'm just going to use the middle of it and I'm going to use the glass itself as sort of a registration to um, uh, line my paper up which is not totally necessary but it does kind of help me get the image in the middle of the piece of paper. Um, <coughs> put the uh, edges of the paper down a little bit with my finger. Uh, I put a little, squeeze a little blue out. This is acrylic paint and squeeze a little black out and um, I'm gonna just spread it around I'm actually using a wet brush that's been in a bucket of water for like a week now uh, it already had some other color in it so the idea here is that the color that I'm using is not straight from the tube <coughs> it is um, unique because it has uh, black mixed into it a little and some white mixed into it it's just not straight from the tube um, then I'm going to print sort of a white uh, feather. I found a chicken feather in the yard the other day when I went to um, feed the chickens. We have chickens. We got nine chickens. And so I got a chicken feather. And I'm going to press it down into this white paper that I spread out on this paper plate. Uh, the paint just squeezes right through the feathers. Kind of kind of cool. That's why I'm getting it on my fingers. Um, peel it up. Put it back in the middle of the uh, picture. I'm going to take the tape off so that I get a nice little even edge all the way around my mono print. And then I'm going to line this piece of paper up. There's drawing on both sides of this piece of paper, and the drawing has absolutely nothing to do with this mono print. I'm just using some uh, scrap paper. It's actually kind of nice, I think, the way the lines look around the edge of it when I'm done, which you'll see at the end of this video. Uh, then I just press it down uh, nice. Um, I peeled it up a little bit so I could see if it's printing, and you'll see there's a big gap. So I went back around the stem of the feather and made sure that I got the ink up off the plate as I was uh, printing it there. It's a little bit better. Peeled it up, and uh, there it is. Uh, and I'll give you an, uh, a better look at it. I like the, the different lines that are in the back. Uh, of the mono print in the blue uh, where I kind of like use my fingernails to rub the paper down uh, so now I'm going to do another one I'm going to take, uh, take the same paintbrush I'm not putting the tape back down or anything but I'm going to respread the blue I uh, probably could have printed it without doing this respreading of the blue but um, I didn't think about that if I had reprinted it I would have gotten that feather uh, the first feather image in there again which would have kind of probably been kind of nice but anyway so spread that out uh, I um, went ahead and put the paper down <coughs> and so now I just have a nice blue uh, rectangle in the middle of my paper and it's not going to be solid because this is a mono print it doesn't get all of the uh, ink all of the acrylic paint up and then I'm going to uh, redo this white. I used kind of a dirty brush for this, and which is okay. It's going to make the make for another unique color. Uh, and then I squeezed out a little bit more white from the tube to kind of highlight the stem right here. <coughs> Just put a little white paint there. I'm going to lay that down right in the middle again and put a piece of paper over the top of it. Uh, like I said before, this piece of paper is scrap paper. I had done some uh, figure drawing on it for practice and uh, now I'm just kind of reusing it and want it to go to waste. 
I'm gonna peel that off and got a nice little feather there turned out pretty good now um, I can take these pieces of paper I probably won't you know like frame them as they are I don't know I just don't feel like they're done necessarily so I may reuse those um, cut them out glue them in to my sketchbook or cut them out and work them into another picture you know whatever you want to do they, they do look kind of cool just like they are anyway that's a quick mono print demo uh, now go make some art don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and don't forget the little bell